Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So I made a video related to this topic about a year and a half ago, but I wanted to make an updated and shorter version of it. A lot of you are into the futures uh, prop funding companies, you know, like Apex, Take Profit Trader, Fast Track Trading, etc. And you know that most of these companies have two options as far as data feeds and platforms. There's the CQG data, which would be Ninja Trader, Tradeovate, and TradingView. And then they offer also the rhythmic data, which is going to work with a bunch of platforms like Sierra Chart, Motive Wave, Jigsaw, Atas, etc. Okay? So, this video is specifically made for Sierra Chart users or people interested in using Sierra Chart. This is what I personally use to trade, not only in trading prop firms, but also in my own real live fund, uh, real life funds futures account. Okay, there is a series of steps as I'm going to show you over here that you are going to need in order to be able to successfully connect your uh, evaluation to use it through Sierra chart. Okay, so the four things you're going to need are a funding evaluation account. And again, you got to make sure you select a rhythmic data evaluation. This can be with Apex, Fast Track Trading, uh, Take Profit Trader, or any other company that offers rhythmic data. Okay, then on their Sierra chart, you're going to need an integrated package with Denali data. This is very important. Back in like 2020, 2021, when I first started hearing about all this uh, prop funding companies in the future space, what Sierra chart was doing, there was a lot of issues with Rhythmic. So the solution they implemented was they had what they called a bridge. It was basically an a plugin or an app that you had to install on your computer. And when you opened up your Rhythmic account, that would activate and it would enable you to use it. Well, about two years ago, uh, they released the Denali data, which is a very effective low lat latency data feed proper of Sierra chart. And now the only way that you're going to be able to connect rhythmic data is through an integrated package. Now, there's three integrated packages, as, as I'm going to show you later. I recommend package 11, which is what I use, and it costs forty six dollars a month. Then you need to activate live CME data, okay? And you, you need to do this directly through Sierra Chart. Even if the funding companies say that they give you live data to trade, which is true if you use other platforms, like if you go into TradingView or Tradeovate or whatever, uh, you're going to have data included. With Sierra Chart, you're going to need to activate your own non-professional live data, which is $12.50 a month. I'm going to talk about this more in a second. And then the last step, and this is what confuses most people, I think, in order to qualify, is you need to have a live futures account. You need to have a real futures account with funds. And this is used internally by Sierra Chart to prove that you're a non-professional status trader. Okay, so when you buy your account uh, with whatever company you're using, you're going to get your rhythmic credentials, a username and a password. They're also going to direct you to download the R Trader Pro platform. Even if you're uh, going to use Sierra Chart, you should download and install this program because this is going to be like your ground zero, your central base for your evaluation. If you log in here, you're going to be able to track in real time what your trailing drawdown is. You can manage and see all your active orders and positions. It's also good to have in case of any emergencies, if Sierra chart freezes or whatever, you can go into R Trader Pro and you can close out all your positions 
through this app as well. So when you go to log in, you're just gonna put your ID, username and password on their system, depending what company you use. Some of them have their own uh, menu item here, or most of them are just gonna tell you use rhythmic paper trading. Again, you should get an email from every company with detailed instructions on this. Um, gateway generally you'll select chicago area which is like the server in the u.s or whatever it is closest to wherever you live in the world and then if it's the first time you logging in to that company with that account you're going to get this pop-up it's two agreements that you need to sign the second one self-certification this is going to be where you're going to say that you're a non-professional trader meaning you're gonna qualify for a lower cost data, but this is only on the rhythmic side. As we're gonna see later, there's another thing that we're gonna do for Sierra, okay? Now for Sierra chart, when you open up an account in Sierra, you're gonna need to activate one of their six packages. They have their base packages, which I'm not showing here, which is the three and five, those ones are not going to be uh, integrated, meaning they're not going to have the capability of being able to connect to live futures data. Okay, so you are going to need an integrated package, and I'll recommend package 11. If you choose package 10, you're not going to be able to get any order flow tools or market depth or level 2 data. So with package 10, you're only going to be able to trade level one meaning the chart price action and volume profiles with package 11 you'll get the uh volume profile drawing tool which is very recommended uh for me it's very useful and you're going to be able to use market profile footprint charts market depth the dom etc package 12 is the same as 11 but you're also gonna get market by order functionality, which is just gonna show you the order in which the resting orders are on the book, on the DOM. I don't really think, for me, this is not really necessary or useful, so I recommend package 11. Denali Exchange Data Feed provides real-time and historical data up to 1,400 levels or market depth per side, and again, high-quality, low-latency feed, that provides true tick by tick data. This is very important. You really wanna have tick by tick data if you're gonna be trading with order flow tools. Now, after you select your package, you're gonna have to activate live CME data because obviously if you don't, you're gonna be trading with data that is 10 minutes behind. So obviously you cannot do that. So for this, the best and cheapest option is CME with market depth for non-professional trading accounts. This is what I use for both my real live futures accounts and also for my trader funding accounts. And you can see it has a cost of $12.50, which is charged on the first of every month. Now this money, the $12.50, this is not going to Sierra chart. This money is going directly to the CME to pay for the live data feed. You can see that if you did not have a trading account open in order to prove your status, you would have to pay $140 for this data instead of $1250. And this is what I'm gonna talk about next here, okay? so. A lot of people, when they made this switch over to the Denali data feed, were very confused as to how they would be able to get the Denali data to trade through Top Step, Apex, and all these funding companies. So this is directly the solution that Sierra Chart recommends. So I'm just going to quickly read the most important things on this. The CME requires that in order to receive real-time market data from these exchanges at the lower price non-professional feeds 
that you have what they call an active and capitalized trading account. So this is an account that has some balance in it. Keep in mind, you don't need to actually use this account. You just need to have it active. So when using the Denali feed, if you want to activate the CME non-professional uh, fees, the CME is gonna impose these requirements, okay? So, you may have a futures funded trading account, and it is not gonna, but it is not with a supported trading platform service. That means that even if you have an account with any of these companies that say that they provide you with data, Sierra Chart has no way to verify programmatically the existence of the account in the futures broker so the solution to this problem is open a trading account with a balance of $100 I believe this is the very the lowest amount you can use to open an account with a futures broker and here they give you a list you can use stage 5 which this is actually the broker I use for my live account and it's excellent. Or you can also check EdgeClear, which is also excellent. I've used them too. Or Canon Trading. So any of these companies, you can just call them and say that you want to open the minimum uh, balance account for a futures micro trading account. And they're going to guide you through the whole process and even if you don't want to use this brokers for trading that's fine you don't have to use them if you don't want to you can use the other supported services for your trading again like the funded companies that you're going to have connected to rhythmic however having a trading account with these brokers that we talked about will allow you to authorize the cme group market data when using any non-professional trading fees okay so basically the summary of this whole thing is all you need to have is a very small futures account open under your name to certify that your non-professional status so sierra chart can verify that and then once you have that set then you can connect to rhythmic and start doing your real life trading okay so how do you connect this you're just going to open sierra chart and you're just going to go to file data trade services and you can see in this case i selected the teton cme order routing and i'm connecting it to advantage future stage five uh if you use um edge clear maybe they're going to set you up with doorman or phillips all this are the clearing firms that are used by the different ib brokers that they recommended so all these credentials you're going to get through the broker so basically you're just going to connect that it's going to turn green meaning you're uh, have an active connection that's all you're going to need to do to have your account verified in sierra then after that you're going to go and disconnect and now you're going to go again to the connections data trade service settings and under current selected service you're just going to select rhythmic direct okay and once you select rhythmic direct and remember to be disconnected when you do this because otherwise the program is going to keep trying to reconnect and reconnect and it's just going to keep giving you an error message so make sure you're disconnected from the data and then go to current services select rhythmic and then under service settings you're just going to write down the credentials of your broker there's going to be over here a pull down menu some companies are going to have their own servers such as apex for example but if not the under the instructions you're going to get a lot of them are going to tell you just to select rhythmic paper trading as your server and then under every username and password you're just going to write the credentials that you got 
when you signed up for your trader funding company okay after you do that then click save all and then go again to file and just click connect and your status should turn to green confirming that you are connected to rhythmic through the advanced integrated denali feed and one thing i would recommend is just go to edit and click translate symbols to current service whenever you change the selected data service if you go between your live account and rhythmic i would recommend clicking on this translate symbols this is just going to reload the charts and make sure that they load properly for the current service that you have activated okay that's pretty much it that's all the steps that you need in order to connect a trader funding company to sierra chart if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and again remember to use uh the links down in the video description to get the best fun uh discounts on all the trader funding accounts okay with that i'll leave you take care and i'll see you in the next one